Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas construction update video. In today's video, we continue with part four of the series, updating information from the Cyber Rodeo event. So today we're gonna talk about how much of the factory did attendees to the event actually see? And spoiler, not as much as people think. Also, just a reminder of first quarter financial results coming up this week. So Cyber Rodeo and the grand opening was an amazing event. And as you can see, we had visibility in a lot of sections, the casting machine, body and white, lots of robots. We even got a chance to see the general assembly, some of the 4680 cells and the areas that uh, all of the car was put together in general assembly. But it got me to thinking, how much of the factory did we really see? You might be surprised with the answer. So to answer that question, let's start off with the areas we did see. From this map, you can see we saw the casting machine gigapress area at number one. Number two was some of the body in white area. Number three was the driveline and paint shop demo area. Number four was general assembly. And number five was the main entrance area. This is all on the ground or first floor. Moving up to the third floor, we saw the battery structural pack assembly area, number one. Number two was a large open area where they had displays, the original prototype cars and other demos. Number three was an open area where they had the stage for the main presentation. They had a VIP bar and they had a lot of upcoming prototype uh, vehicles and products. And of course, on the west of the building, they had a lot of exterior activities with stages, food, a lot of displays, and just a general gathering area for people outside to enjoy the great weather. So don't get me wrong, there was a lot to see and it was really great to have the opportunity. However, looking at the areas that were not open to the public is quite telling. So let's start on the first floor or the ground floor. The areas in yellow with the red outline are areas not open to the public. The white areas are the areas that were open during Cyber Rodeo. And if there's any gray with purple, that's just areas on the upper floors that there are now actually floors there. However, we did not see the stamping machine area. We did not see the paint. We did not see the battery cell area. Most of the body in white was also off limits and most of the future development areas in the General Assembly South and Southwest were not open either. Moving up one floor to the second floor, it's interesting that none of these areas were available for public to see. And you can see the areas that uh, are in yellow with the red outline of where there's actually a second floor. This would include the main offices that uh, Tesla uses for Giga Texas and for the headquarters. Moving up to the third floor, as mentioned, the area in white is where it was open for the Cyber Rodeo attendees to see. But as you can see, quite a bit of the third floor in yellow uh, was not available to be seen. And again, that would include the battery cell structure area and all of the future development area. And finally, all of the fourth floor areas, as you can see here, were not open to the public. Most of these areas are HVAC and heavy machinery areas, which would stand to reason. So the bottom line is, is as great as Cyber Rodeo was and all of the areas open to the public was just fantastic and you saw all the pictures and the videos and so forth, only about 10% of Giga Texas was viewed by the attendees. So think about what that means. Think about all of the opportunity for growth, production, and all of the other great things that's going on at Giga Texas that we have not seen yet. And finally, I just want to remind everybody that later this week on Wednesday from 4.30 Central Time, 5.30 Eastern Time, or about 21.30 Greenwich Mean Time, uh, Tesla is going to be having the first quarter financial results meeting. It'll be live streamed at this link here, and you can also get other materials for that. So exciting times to see how well they did in the first quarter. And of course, the grand opening for Giga Texas and also for Giga Berlin will be major inputs to that meeting. So there you have it, a rundown of about how much of Giga Texas that the public has actually seen with videos and photos and what the attendees were able to see. Only about 10% of the entire facility, which is pretty amazing. Also, the reminder of the first quarter financial results coming up this Wednesday, 4.30 Central Time. So take a look at the link and uh, hopefully we'll get some great news. 
A special thank you to all of my outstanding Patreons for your continued encouragement and support. Patreon members get access to hundreds of high-resolution photos, previews of the future material, and direct dialogue with me. If you would like to support my channel, please consider becoming a patron using this link, which is also in the video description. Please also consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons as this helps as well. Thank you. My drones are ready and raring to go. Let's go flying over Giga, Texas. <laughs>